Hi Simmers, welcome back! It's time for part 2 of my get to work upload. If you're new here, hello, I'm JQ Honey, and I build one pack only lots for The Sims 4. Hope you'll stick around and hit that subscribe button. Okay, today's video is a tour of my get to work career lot rebuilds. The reason I separated them is because, well, they're not on any map for one, and there's a bit of explaining to do. So, I built them the way they are, completely on purpose. They look like old buildings, like they were built the same time that the base game worlds were too. Basically, I googled old hospital or New Orleans police station because Magnolia Promenade looks like Willow Creek which shares architectural features with New Orleans and built them based on those images. Same thing with the lab, I googled mid-century modern office building because Oasis Springs and went from there. Alright, first up is the police station, Willow Creek Precinct. When your detective sim first starts, they'll spend most of their time on this side, which is the officer side. I love this linoleum because it looks exactly like my reference pictures. You'll also find the police chief here, the water closet and gym, and a pantry. When they return with evidence from crime scenes, they can go directly here to analyze and cross-reference them, and then walk a short distance to add clues to the map here. And then when they apprehend a suspect, they could go directly to this interrogation table, and finally, lock the suspect up in the cell block. The booking station is right here in the cell block as well. So before placing this lot as your police station in-game, I strongly suggest that you release all the prisoners first. Click on each prisoner and release them one by one. Don't worry, sims aren't very smart and the prisoners will stick around for you to lock them back up afterwards. This is because when you replace the lot, all the sims get reset and they'll stand outside the lot. But the game still thinks that the prisoners are locked up, so the option to do that will be grayed out, even though they're standing outside. And unlike the doctor career, you don't get a reset on the next working day. Now, a few things about editing this lot, whether you're using mine, or others, or building your own. First, do not place anything in the prison area. This includes wall lights, ceiling lights, just anything. They cause routing issues even when you place them without move objects cheats on. Your sim won't be able to interact with the booking station, interrogation table, and the cell doors if you do. Two, don't recolor the interrogation table and booking station. This was fixed before, but over the past few patches, the recolors are broken again. Yes, the game's own recolors. Go figure. And lastly, the chief police's desk chair must be this exact chair, the boss executive desk chair. The chief police will not route to their office otherwise, and could potentially fail to spawn at all. That was our Willow Creek precinct, up next is the hospital. MP General Hospital stands for Magnolia Promenade General Hospital. Notice that the police station lot in the background is still the default one. Any changes you make on one of them will not show when you're in the other, so we'll pretend that the two are in different areas, yeah? So, as a doctor, your sim will examine the patients, and then they may or may not get useful results to correctly diagnose them. You, as the player, will be diagnosing them instead, based on the patient's idle animations. As such, I've placed all the exam beds right in the center of the lot and removed anything that could obstruct your view of the patients. From the wards, all of the diagnostics area are only a short walk away. Your doctor sim will analyze patient samples here, Run treadmill tests here, and do x-rays here. When it's time to do surgery, the table is right here. About the surgery table, it's definitely functioning. However, some recent patch has broken all the animations on it. Your sim is still able to successfully operate on patients and deliver babies. Only the animations are broken. You'll find more info on the related post on Answers HQ. Remember to press the me button. For the hospital lot, I recommend that you wait until near the end of the workday or after you already maxed out the daily tasks before placing this lot. Because when you place it, everyone will be reset off the lot and you won't be able to get the patients back to the exam beds. But you get a reset on the next working day so everyone should be where they need to be then. Finally, our last get to work career lot, the lab. I renamed it Future Sim Research Center because any sim working here still works for future sim labs. Same as the original, there are two lab areas. Here, there's one downstairs and one upstairs. If the object that your sim needs to use is occupied in one, then it's just a short distance to the other. The rocket ship is completed here, but I left it untouched for your scientist sims to be able to complete their daily tasks. I've also added all the plant types you'll need for the serums in the greenhouse here. You'll find the telescope out up here, 
and we need to talk about the invention constructor which you'll find in the middle of it all here honestly it's like they forget about the earlier packs whenever they patch this game so same thing with the hospital's surgery table the animations for this machine are also broken although everything else proceeds normally your sim is still able to chat with the robot brainstorm invent and upgrade their inventions only the animations are wrong so go to the post for this issue on answers hq and press me too there as well okay as a side note i didn't place any of the inventions or serums on the lot because gameplay your scientist sim is supposed to be inventing those themselves after all but there's plenty of space available for when you need to place them on the lot and that's today's tour done guys now let me show you how to place the lots in your game first open up the cheat console with shift and control and c keys and type in bb.enable free build mode space on and then bb.move objects space on go into build mode and bulldoze the whole lot then find the lot on the gallery use hashtag jqbase save or go directly to my profile at christens90 and use hashtag get to work then choose the right lot and place as usual that's all there is to it thank you for joining me today and remember to leave a like until next time Bye!